guys and what's up and welcome back to my channel if you do not know because you're not following me on instagram i am almost 38 weeks pregnant i am expecting my first kid we are having a boy which is super super exciting so i thought i would do a nursery room tour i am currently in the nursery right now it is finally done this used to be an office space it was not decorated we didn't really have anything up except for a few photos on the wall, which we've actually decided to keep. Um, but we've done a lot. We've created an accent wall. We've built a crib. Um, there's like a reading situation, a bookshelf, plants on the side. So I'm really excited to show you. I think this space is gonna be really inspirational for the kid. I think it's going to be really calming for us and just really functional. And that's what I want. I want a very simple space that is very functional, very fun and just, easy to coordinate through so that's that um i would love for you to stick around tell me your thoughts give me some suggestions i am a first time mom so what i think might be functional might not actually be functional in reality so i'm really open to having some um, insight also i will try to link everything that i mentioned down below in the description box if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and yeah i can't wait oh hi kobe Hi, my puppy! Hi, my puppy! Oh! Anyways, let's get on to this tour and, um... Let's just start. <laughs> let's start. Hey, you guys. Welcome to our nursery room tour. This is basically how you enter, you know, directly in front of the window. Very bright. Probably the room that gets the most amount of sun throughout the day and definitely in the morning you get like this beautiful sunrise that like shines on top of the wall here it's just nice and golden i really really love it especially in the mornings here so um yeah let's start actually over here in this corner and i'm sorry if i'm out of breath <laughs> as you guys may know i'm like approaching my 38th week and um yeah i just can't breathe <laughs> so if you hear me huffing and puffing i am so sorry okay so i'm going to go through kind of everything and where we've got it um, as well as what our plan is as for our decor it's pretty simple we really just um, utilized these rings that were at my baby shower and i thought they were just perfect and so beautiful our friends actually made them and i thought it was like the perfect addition to the nursery so if you look closer, they're actually faux flowers, so they'll stay the way they are. And then they're dried um, oranges and cuties, so I thought that was perfect. Very in tune with the theme <laughs> of the baby room of the nursery, um, so I thought that was perfect. These decals are from Amazon. We got like two packs, and I think that was enough to cover the wall and still have extras. They're stick on and stick off, so you can really just play with them, adjust them as needed, and they don't damage any of the wall paint. So this is a great way for you to definitely utilize this sort of like an accent wall without spending a lot of money or, you know, damaging a rental if it is, but we were just too lazy to paint, <laughs> to be honest. So here we have the dresser. This was a hand-me-down from my sister-in-law, which is in great condition. So we definitely decided to utilize it because I thought it went perfectly in the space right here without taking up too much room. We have the changing dock and the pad from Target, which is great because it's you can wipe it, you can wash it. <laughs> it's like good to go and it's soft. I read that like babies don't really like a really hard surface. So this has like a nice like plush to it and I hope I hope my baby likes it I mean you never know with these things this is just a wipe holder I haven't even opened up the wipes so they don't dry out then we have the Ubi diaper pail initially we had the diaper genie with like the armor all bags that it comes with but I just found reviews to say that this was a better solution economically because you can just use your own bags and um it was a lot more hygienic in the scent department, so it didn't smell as bad. <laughs> um, here we have six bins. These are from Amazon. They are super sturdy. They actually have this like wire 
top right here and then they hold their shape really well which I love and then they have these like faux leather handles which are so cute definitely great for a playroom nursery even like your closet <laughs> i'll run through what's in these bins real easily so in this one we have blankets swaddles and towels then we have diapers and then extra like baby stuff we might need um here we have onesies hats mitts things that the baby will wear in the first like three to six months and then here we have like a thermometer um, extra like baby medical equipment, nail filer, um, stuff like that. Just extra bath stuff in case we run out of like shampoo. Here we have some postpartum stuff and things that I may need. And then here are extra toys that the baby won't be able to use until like the six month mark. So we've kind of left them in there just so they're accessible and we know what we have so we don't go out and buy new things <laughs> unless we actually really need to. Here is the center of the room, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about this crib. It is so darn cute. This was a lovely gift from my parents to our baby boy, our first, or their first grandchild, which is very exciting. Um, so here is this crib, it's from Nestig. This is actually the cloud crib in mint. What I love about this company is super sustainable. They use materials that they're going to utilize and they're very safe for the baby. The paints are non-toxic. They are just made really well. It's a convertible crib. So this is the bassinet or the mini crib and then it will expand into a full size crib and then into a toddler bed. So definitely you will get your money's worth with this crib. But what's also really great about it is it's made to order so they don't over produce their wood um you know you put in an order you wait about a month and a half and it gets delivered to you in three separate boxes so you are able to grow the bed as your baby grows which i think is really sweet okay so another item i wanted to talk about that's in the center of the baby room is is the nanit pro camera that we are using as our baby monitor as you see we just installed it so there's still the protective film on there it's very new we still have to set it up but what's really neat about this is the extra safety and security measures that comes with. So it monitors baby's breathing. It comes with a breathing band that you can wrap at like the chest of the baby. So it's very accurate, but you can also monitor just through movement. Um, so if you don't want to get like the additional features or the different like equipment that comes with it, you don't have to, which is really cool. Should the baby turn over or stop breathing for any reason, um, an alarm will sound off, so it is very, very high tech in that sort of sense. What's also really cool is that this one is attached to the wall, but you can also buy a stand for it. So if you have like the crib in the center of the room, you can basically have it like stand on its own, which is really cool. So, you know, that's a great option if you had like a more spacious room and you had the crib like more so in the center and not against a wall the other option that we were going to go for is the outlet but i'm um, sorry that's on and in the background um so but we ended up going with the nanit just for its technology and i guess reliability <laughs> now we're coming into our reading corner which i love um here is a photo of Anand and our guru in atlanta and then we have our baby leto glider which was raved about to me by Bina and I definitely had to go over on and get it so I put it right here in the corner it's great because it definitely like swivels but it also rocks back and forth which is great it's not a recliner so I did put a puff here this one is from Wayfair the chair is from Target but you can find it online at different retailers um I'll link mine below but there's another one that's made of like a different material. It's called a crew and that chair is so stunning, but this is a great option because it has this like micro velvet suede. That's like super easy to clean, but um, yeah. And then this throw is from Kirkland's. It's just their bubble throw that they have on sale here all the time. And here we are at the center of the room. These curtains are from Target. Um, I learned my lesson when I ordered one, thinking that two come in a pack because who orders one curtain? It seems like a scam. <laughs> so when you order a curtain, make sure you order two because you never know if you're gonna get one 
or two or four, who knows? Like, I don't even understand the industry at this point. And then we have our hatch light right there in the center. It gives white noise, it gives like dim light, depending on what you need, you just kind of like click on it. It's really easy to deal with. You don't have to worry about turning it on and off with your phone and all of that. So it just stays on all night. You come in, you turn it off as needed. And then the table itself is from, so I'm just trying to think, it's from Amazon. I think it was like a $20 table, but I think it worked perfectly with the room. It was the right tone of sage, super cute, really easy. It's like a metal, so it could be an indoor or outdoor table. We're just utilizing it inside. So here is the super fun part of the room. This is definitely my favorite area of the room. I think it brings in a lot more personality and just ties in the entire room together. Um, so a little story about this bookshelf. This was actually a, like a gift, <laughs> like someone was moving. They didn't want it. I took it, um, which I'm really like really happy about. We used it for quite some time, but it was black. So we decided to paint it on and then his friends decided to paint this, this like beautiful green color, which I think goes perfectly with the room. It's light but fresh and really really playful so up top we have the humidifier um super easy to turn on access deal with if we need to um you know obviously we want to make sure that the baby has good air to breathe if it's very fresh and moist so there's no like dryness and everything like that then this is from michael's i bought the plant and the planter separate but just put them together and i think it looks really good with the tones here. These stacking rings are from Amazon. This was a gift when we had moved, or when I had moved to Gainesville after our wedding, which was really sweet. Um, this was a gift for our wedding. It turns on and lights up, but it's not plugged in right now. Um, it's a photo of Anna and I, which is a very special gift from a few dear friends. These two both are. We then have the Ollie swaddle, which is actually back there with all the other swaddles. Um, but I just really liked the illustration on the box and it worked really well with the room. So I thought as long as I can use it. And then we have a little Sophie um, just to help teeth when time comes. Um, we have this gift box from Honest, which is wonderful. Um, I just liked how it looked <laughs> and for me I can't help but display products like it's just kind of like in my nature what I love is this little turtle that it came with this is from the love every box a few of the items are that this is from Amazon right here it's just a little carrot toy where the kid can practice their dexterity and I love I love how the wood looks I just do it's so cute and just like very fresh and modern but very like vintage-esque at the same time, you know what I mean? And then we have some books right here. I've kept them accessible because I want the kid to eventually be able to reach and grab for whatever book they would like to read. Um, and then at the bottom, I have two saddle bins. They are made of full leather. I think I got the last two that have ever been in stock. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but I won't be able to link those. Those are from Kirkland's. Maybe they'll bring them back in a different color or maybe in the same style again, but I think they were on clearance and I grabbed the last two that they had. And then on this side, we have the closet. I don't really have anything to show you that's very valuable in the closet, except for we have extra clothes, toys, birthing pillow or like breastfeeding pillow, all of that kind of stuff in here. It's not organized. It's actually quite embarrassing. So I'm not going to show you, but lots of space in there. Once we do get that situated for the future. I'm just, I don't want to worry about it. I, I get like that where I'm like, I've done this much. I think we'll be fine. We'll just do it as time comes. Oh my God, you guys, this is the final section. I thought we would never make it, <laughs> but here we are. This is the last side of the baby room of the nursery and I am ready to catch my breath. So let's get through this. This is actually a gift that I gave to Anand. It is two magazines that were printed after Kobe's passing. Um, they are framed and secured in there so they can stay in their mint condition. I didn't want to take it out of the room. I feel like, you know, um, as much as I want to put inspirational quotes and posters everywhere, I just think we can teach that to them and 
you can have idols that are really valuable to look up to. So we have our guru, we have Kobe. I'm keeping up the poster. Okay, so then we have this fiddle leaf fig plant from Home Depot. The plant stand is from Wayfair. I just wanted this corner to be really simple. It's the access to the bathroom right here. I didn't want it to be cluttered where if at night someone has to walk in like relatively in the dark, they would stub their toe on something. So we're keeping this path super clear. This little hamper situation is from Amazon. It's like a hemp hamper. So I might actually put a clear bag in the inside so clothes can go in and not turn, like, you know, stain um, the cloth and the fabric on the inside. But it's washable, so I thought that was a really good good idea. And then we have a bunch of swaddles as well as blankets hung up. These are muslin swaddles, so I don't think I'll be utilizing them as swaddles, but more so as blankets and covers for when I take the baby on a walk. And so we have them hung up on this beautiful gold, like a coat rack hack or whatever this is called, like rack. Um, Hanger, what's it called? Anyways, tell me below if you remember. <laughs> um, but this is from Target. I just thought it was really nice and chic. It gives it like a nice boyish look, but it's still very um, modern. And then the muslin blankets are from Target. I think they come in a pack. And then this cute little frilly one is from H&M. H&M has great baby stuff if you are looking. Um, that's kind of where... I've been shopping for my baby for things that I want that are specific to my style. And then lastly, we have this fun rug, <laughs> which has already been stained <laughs> and cleaned. So it's great. It's a washable rug. It's from Target. It's like an alphabet right on the side. It's super soft. It does move around a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, if I wanted a rug pad, I would get it, but on top of like carpet and then this, like it's just too much to faff with. So that's that. Eventually, I think I'll bring in a small little bed here for Kobe to just kind of chill if he wants to, and then that's it. Okay, so that's it for the nursery tour. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found some inspiration. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, just so I have an idea if I'm doing something incorrect. Um, I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> I feel like I, I used my logic to the best of my abilities but you never know. Um, and then aside from that, if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them for you. I still have some energy. So let me know if you guys want me to do like a pregnancy Q and A, a little bit about like how my pregnancy has been. I'd love to talk about that if you want to hear about it. I've also done a lot of Q and A's on my Instagram. So if you haven't checked those out, I'll link those below too. So you have an idea of what people have already asked me. But yeah, other than that, Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it and um, wish me luck and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay. Who's gonna clean that up? Oh, you? <laughs> <laughs>